This is a sorting work. This activity is in continuation of our peace unit. Peace education is a vital part of Montessori education. Apart from our ground rules and grace and courtesy lessons, there are also materials in the classroom which help to connect the peaceful environments within our classroom to the global community beyond the classroom walls. These are the cultural materials, beautiful, simple materials that introduce the child to the rest of the world. The cultural materials help the child to understand his or her place geographically, provide a global view of life and humanity's part in it. We begin with the study of the continents, the names and shapes of the continents, the individual countries within the continent on which the child lives, to peoples of the world. We expand upon these materials through lessons that help the child to classify, compare and contrast people around the world. This is what this lesson is about. So I have some pictures here of children around the world. These are simple pictures that are color coded by the continent like you see here to illustrate how children look around the world. The aim of this work is to help young children appreciate both the wide diversity across the globe and how much we have in common. Now I'm going to present the lesson. There are lots of pictures here of children around the world. I'm going to use this little continent here on each picture to help me sort these cards. This is the yellow continent, which is Asia. That's a girl from Asia. This one is the orange continent, which is North America. This boy is from North America. This is the green continent. That is Africa. 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 Asia. Pink is South America. Africa again. Yellow, Asia, yellow again, Asia, pink, South America, South America. South America, Orange, North America, this one has the brown continent, that is Australia, Australia. Red, Europe, Europe, North America, Australia, Australia, North America, Europe, Europe.
Australia. See how beautiful our planet is. See how wonderful and beautiful the people are. Now, if you don't have a printer, that's all right. Sit with your child and show her all the pictures. Point to the little continent on each picture and see if she can tell you what continent that is. Then look at the pictures of the children from each continent together and share your thoughts and ideas with each other. If you have a printer, ask your, after your child sorts the pictures by the continents, you can have a discussion with her by posing questions like, How are you different from a child in Africa? How are you the same? Do you think they feel sad or happy like you do? Do you think she has a heart in her body? Do you think her blood is red like yours? The aim of this work is for the child to understand that although we all may look different on the outside, we are all the same on the inside and also the same in a lot of other aspects like our feelings and our needs.